Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn something new about group by and having. So those people who have no knowledge about group by and having, you will also get something that is very important for you. So when we are talking about group by, so if I want to explain you what is group by, so I can tell you it like this by a simple example. That for example, there is a table in which some employees are there. And there are some department associated with the, those employees. So, for example, there are five people in the HR department and seven people in the admin department. So, at that point of time, all these people must have some salary also. So, now if somebody asks you, like, hey, I want that how many total, like, how much salary is given to HR department? Which means that, for example, there are seven people in HR department. So, sum of all seven people, I want. So, it will be the total salary that is allotted to the HR department. So, at that point of time, what I can do, I can make a bucket of HR. And in that bucket, I will store all the salaries of different, different HRs. For example, HR A has a salary of 15,000. So, I will store 15,000 in that bucket. HRB has a salary of 20,000. So I will add that 20,000 again in that bucket. Accordingly, I will do for the seventh HR. And after that, in that bucket, the amount calculated is 1.5 lakh. So when that person again asks me, hey, I want the total amount that is allocated to the HR department. So I will give him my bucket. Like see that 1.5 lakh is the total amount calculated for the HR department. So what group by do? Group by creates a bucket. For example, if you want to create a bucket of different different departments, so what you can do, you can group by the things with the help of department. So at that point of time, separate bucket for each department will be calculated. And if you want to do any aggregation in that, you can easily do that aggregation with the help of group by. So now when we are talking about group by, we must have something in mind that group by is used when we are doing some aggregations in Microsoft SQL Server group by is only used when we are doing some kind of aggregation and aggregation can be max, min, average, sum, count. So these are some aggregations that we can do with the help of group by. So now I will tell you something with the help of example. So now we are going to use our new ecom database. So, after using this ecom database, I have two tables with me. Now, if somebody asks me that, tell me the total order amount that is calculated in every month. So, at that point of time, where is my total order amount? My total order amount is in my orders table. So I will select from star from my orders table. So by this total order amount, it doesn't mean that it's the aggregated total order amount. It's just the total order amount that is done by the customer ID on that order date. So now I want monthly total order amount so what I will do, I will write select. Now, when I'm going to calculate the monthly total order amount, so my order date is in this format, 2020 -01 So firstly, I have to extract the months from my order date. For extracting month from your order date, you will write month and then you will write order date. Order date. After this month order date, and I will give this a column name as month. Month. Now, after this, I want the sum of total order amount. So basically, what I want every month, the total order amount that is generated. So now this total order amount is for different, different customer IDs. But I want the aggregated total order amount for that month. So I will use sum. And inside this sum, I will pass total order amount. So now what I have done, I have sum all the total order amount and I am giving as total price, total order 
now after this i am selecting all these things from my customers table now after this uh, sorry from my orders table now after doing this query now i have selected a column order date from which i am extracting the months so what i have to do for example any of the time when you are using a aggregate function with some column you must have to group by that column in the query so i am using this month order date column with my aggregated function so i will group by it so group by and i will pass the same thing month order date now after doing this i will just run this query so now you can see that i just order by it to get a more clear picture so order by month ascending so now when i will run this query i will get something like this so you are seeing that for the month one the total order uh, just I'm giving this again a uh, total amount generated. So when I will run this, so get give you more clear picture. So yeah, this on first month on January, the total amount generated is this much. For second, the total amount generated is this much. So now you are seeing that from the orders table, there are different different dates. They are different. For example, for January, this thing is there. For January, this thing is there. And for January, this thing is there. January, this thing is there. So for January, there are many multiple records. But when we have do done a group by with the aggregation thing, we are getting all the value in the bucket of January and all the total order amount. Now, if I want the average total order amount, so I will write average here. And what it will do? It will give me all the average amount, like average amount for the January month for the February month, for the March one. So by this way, you can do this thing. For example, I have dropped one more column in which I want to show my year also. So I will show year and I will pass my order date inside this. And I will give this column name as year. Now, you are seeing that I have used the average function, aggregate function, but this time I have used two columns with my aggregate function. So first column I have grouped by it with month order date, but year order date is missing. So what can I do? I will pass my year order date in the group by. So year order date. Now you can also, also ask that why I'm not using this alias, why I'm using this year order date. The reason for this is order of execution. So first from statement occurs and after this from statement, the group by occurs and group by doesn't know about this alias because this alias is select a statement. So because of order of execution, we are going, we have to pass this complete thing. Now I will run this thing. So now you are seeing for 2021, for 2021, month one is there and for 2020 year one month is there so it has calculated grouped firstly it has grouped year and after that it had grouped with the help of months so now you are seeing the output so for 2021 january it's this amount for 2020 january it's this amount so this is all about group by now we will come towards our having clause so now i'm going to remove this year i don't want this year right now to explain you so now, now somebody uh, tells me, like tells me that Durgesh, I want only the order amount. I want only the order amount who are greater than a cost of 20,000. I want only the months. For example, if I will run this query just to show you. Now somebody asked me that Durgesh, I only want those months where the order amount generated is greater than 20,000. So now at this point of time, when somebody asks you a question that is based on your aggregated condition because average total order amount I have calculated with the help of 
average aggregation so now if you want to give any condition on your aggregated column so you have to give that condition in the having clause you can't give that condition in the where clause you can have you have to give that condition in the having clause so i will pass a having clause and now in having clause i will pass having average total order amount and now i want that amount to be greater than 20000 so average total order amount is greater than 20000 now i will run this query so i'm not getting any amount so which means that all the amounts are greater than or the amounts are less than 20000 so what can i do i can write some less value 2000 and now if i will run this i am getting the records which means I have given the condition when I have given the condition more than 20,000 I am not getting any record because all the records are less than 20,000 so if you want to give any condition to your aggregated column then you have to use the having clause so this is the complete structure why we use group by and why we use having clause hope you enjoyed that if you enjoyed that you can like and subscribe my video and can subscribe my youtube channel as well thanks